Hi folks, this is Dr. Mughal here again. Um, this is a very uh, small presentation on actually um, uh, designing a logic circuit on Logisim and then actually analyzing that circuit and even getting ex Boolean expression uh, for the output. Uh, and I'll show you how to. So if you look at lab number one, um, lab one has part two in which step number three it says uh, verify the recorded values for Q in table three by analyzing a circuit using logisim and get the boolean expression for Q okay this was the circuit that you designed um, earlier for step number two now I'm not gonna design the same circuit but I'm gonna uh, design something else okay so say uh, I'm just gonna just randomly pull some some of the gates uh, let's get an OR gate let's get another one of those uh, let's get an OR gate and then maybe one inverter here as well okay all right I'm gonna change the number of inputs from 5 to 2 for each gate this one also 2 and this goes from uh, this two and then this also two um, okay also let me move this around right here I'm going I'm gonna uh, use three inputs uh, one of the input goes here okay uh, and say this is my a okay all right uh, I'm gonna use another input which would be B and it goes here and this is B here let's increase the font size okay all right I'm going to add another input and I'll s label that as my C um, go here let's C uh, and then change the font size to 18 and then I'll uh, actually use a wire and connect it to this input of the OR gate this will go into this OR gate right here and then this will go to one of these input and I'll just use a right here which will actually go as a second input for this NOR gate and this is my output right here let me just connect an indicator right here okay uh, I'll also just go ahead and uh, save this file <clears throat> uh, as I'll just save it on desktop I'll say example one. Uh, save it um, I'll just use a variable for the output here as well Let's say it is X just do it over here uh, bold 20 okay all right uh, now for the previous example of what you what you did was basically changing the values for A and B trying different combinations and looking for the output um, so this is how it would work. Well, when you have a circuit like this and you want to uh, f get the truth table for it, there's a way for it. You right click here and you click on analyze circuit. Okay. Um, computing truth table instead of expression due to label. Uh, okay. Just ignore this warning. And looks like so we got A, B, C, th those are the our inputs and we got X as an output right here so for three inputs we have uh, eight possible combinations 0 to 7 and looks like when A, B, C are set to 0 that is the only time X is 1 there you go for rest of the other combinations X is going to be 0 so let's try triple 1 or 1, 1, 0 so as expected it gave us the right result um, also one of the other things that you could do with the uh, logism so if you go to this window right here again 
again this will show you inputs outputs here uh, your table with all the um, the truth table with all the combinations and the output expression this part can actually give you a boolean expression for the x which is right here okay so you can actually if you like just say it here and then okay all right and then you can move it around if you like so x is equals to in word of a ending with in word of b ending with in word of c okay so you can actually reverse the process and have the design ready and then analyze your circuit get the boolean expression for your output and also look at the truth table so here's a good chance for you to actually verify uh, the values for the Q that you had recorded for lab part two, step number two. Um, with this, I'm going to finish this presentation uh, and I'll see you guys in the lab.